Durante más de cuatro décadas, por más de 40 años, el horizonte científico de los ganadores próximos ha sido muy similar a un paradiso. Quiero decir, el número de especies que viven en el Amazon. ¿Cuál es el impacto de la acción humana en este lugar en el planeta? ¿Cuál sería el impacto de nuestro impact planeta si este lugar cesa de existir? The jury in this category, Ecology and Conservation Biology, has been chaired by Professor Daniel Pouli, who works at the Fisher Center at the University of British Columbia in Canada. The 2008 BBVA Foundation Frontiers of Knowledge Award in Ecology and Cons Conservation Biology goes to Dr. William Lawrence and Thomas Lovejoy. The awardees are recognized for their contribution to understanding the effect of land use change on biodiversity and ecosystem processes. They have developed and maintained a seminal long-term landscape experiment in Amazonian Brazil, designed to measure and forecast the manifold consequences of habitat fragmentation for the, to the integrity of tropical forest. Their work has revealed many unexpected features of habitat fragmentation with far-reaching consequences for the preservation of forest biodiversity and carbon pool dynamics. Insight from this study have significantly influenced conservation science and practice. The awardees are also applauded for developing the crucial conservation policy mechanism for protecting natural landscape knows, known as Depth for Nature Swap. Señora Ministra, Madame Minister, Chairman of the BPA Foundation, Chairman of the CSIC, and as we say in Brazil, distinguidos presentes. First, it is, it is a great honor for the two of us to be recognized by the Frontiers of Knowledge Award. We are very appreciative of the BBVA Foundation of being in the country of Ramon Margalef, and we salute the others recognized tonight by the Frontiers of Knowledge Awards. Our work in the Amazon involves many others, especially our colleagues in Brazil, and the vibrant group of students over three decades who have cut their intellectual teeth as part of the Forest Fragments Project. We salute them, for they are just as deserving of this rec recognition as we. While our project, in a sense, is directed at understanding the consequences of forest fragmentation, it has always been with a view toward better management of the Amazonian landscape as a whole, the world's greatest repository of biological diversity as well as home to diverse indigenous cultures. In ecological terms, the Amazon is being crisscrossed by new highways and infrastructure projects, opening up a Pandora's box of environmental threats, such as illegal colonization, logging, hunting, and land speculation. Furthermore, a recent study of climate change in the Amazon suggests we are halfway to a point of Amazon dieback. And when deforestation and fire are combined with climate change, it appears the tipping point is not far away, and the Amazon could eventually collapse in droughts and forest fires. At the same time, there is growing recognition that the planet must be managed 
as a biophysical system, and that ecosystems, particularly tropical forests, are vital for maintaining the livability of our world. Tropical deforestation dumps perhaps as much as two billion tons of carbon into the atmosphere each year. And the greenhouse gas problem is too great and too urgent for us not to include forest protection as part of international efforts. The climate accords to come out of Copenhagen in December must include forest conservation without fail. The time is long overdue for an integrated approach to Amazon development, one that relies on the best of science and thinking. The Amazon's import is of global scale, and it is, in many ways, an icon for treatment of the living planet as a whole. Thank you.